Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Zorin OS 17 on a 14 year old laptop. So Zorin OS 17 was just released and I decided to install the pro version on this 14 year old laptop. This is a Dell Latitude E6510 released back in 2010, so nearly 14 years. Specs on this has a Core i5 first generation that is a dual core four thread processor with four gigs of RAM and I do have 128 gig SSD in it. Now, one of the first things that they mentioned in their announcement is that this offers faster and smoother performance. So the, uh, the desktop runs dramatically snappier on a wide range of hardware, whether old or new. And of course, I went to the extreme and decided to use one of the oldest machines that I own just to test this out. Now, in addition to these optimizations, they were able to lower the minimum requirement for RAM from two gigs down to one and a half gigs. So I could remove a stick of RAM from this and it would still run perfect. Now, of course, I don't want you to just take my word for it. That is why I installed it on this older machine. So I do want to open up a couple of programs on this laptop just to show you how well it performs. Now, of course, keep your expectations low. This is a nearly 14 year old laptop, but we can op open up a couple of things at the same time just to see how fast things open. So just some basic applications like the calculator, our contacts, you can see even going to our desktop here to see all our open applications that runs really, really well. We can uh, even go to YouTube on the browser. Snapping our windows is really nice. Snapping that and maximizing it like so. We can uh, look for supercar videos. We'll open up the first one here. And then uh, it's in HD, as you can see. That's working out really well. We can go ahead and let that run in the background while we're doing that. And then say we wanna go here. We can open up a couple more things here. So we'll open up our mail app. We can open up document scanner. Maybe we'll open up handbrake. And how about we open up a uh, LibreOffice application. And then as you can see, we've got all these applications open. You can see everything is super fluid. We can open up a whole new desktop if we want to. As you can see, performance is fantastic. Another feature introduced in Zorin OS 17 is universal search. So if you go into your Zorin menu, you can see that search right up here at the top. So we can search for our browser if we want to. You can search for settings. So say we wanna look for display settings, we can find that. Uh, pretty much anything, if, if you have a file or anything like that, you can just type it in. And as you can see, it'll search for your applications, files, characters, software, and more. Now you can also adjust your search if you'd like to just by right clicking on the Zorin menu and clicking search settings. And then from here, you can control where search results come from. So if you don't want it to search your contacts, turn it off from right here and you can just uh, change those at will. You also have different search locations. So if you don't want it to search through uh, specific folders, you can turn those off as well as bookmarks or other files as well. There's also refined multitasking. So of course you can click uh, the button right next to the Zorn button to bring up any applications that are currently open. You can also open up a new desktop from here, or you can use that search at the very top. In addition, you can use the Windows key or super key to get to that menu. And if you wanted to, you can also double tap and that'll bring up a menu where you can access all your applications. So right from here, you can open something else. Now, when switching between programs using Alt-Tab, you may be used to this kind of view, where you may just have an icon or a little preview of the application that's currently open when switching. However, with Spatial Window Switcher, if you use that same keyboard shortcut, you now have a full 3D view of every application running, and it looks absolutely beautiful. There's also an improved software store, and it is much faster. So, as you can see here, we can go through a couple of things and everything loads up very quickly. Say we wanna download Thunderbird, we'll go ahead and hit install. It's gonna ask for my password. And there we go, already installing very, very quickly. Another feature that's been added is advanced window tiling. So say we have an application open here, we can snap it over to the side. You now can open any of the other existing open applications like so. And of course we can put these into uh, quadrants like so. So we can have up to four applications open at once. Let's see if I can actually get it to work. Maybe, yeah, there we go. All right, as you can see, now we have one in each quadrant. 
We also have a new quick settings menu. So if you click down here, you can see a couple of things right off the bat. So of course you can see your Wi-Fi signal, your uh, speaker, as well as your battery level and your date and time. When you click here, you can see we have our Wi-Fi option. You have a uh, night light, airplane mode, your power mode, as well as whether you're in light or dark mode. You do have your brightness toggle right here, as well as a sound toggle. You have quick access to take a screenshot, your settings, you can lock your computer or you can shut down or restart right from here and you can also see your battery and click here for battery settings as well. You do have adjustable power modes. So as you can see here in the settings, we have balanced and power saver. Uh, now on certain hardware, you will have a performance mode where you can max out your performance or you can balance things out or you can have it on power saver and get the most out of your battery. There is a new screenshot and screen recording experience. And honestly, I think it works very well. You don't need a third party program to do screen recording. So you can hit uh, function print screen, depending of course on your computer. And you can choose from a selection where you can uh, crop it. You can choose the entire screen or a specific window. And then right from here, you can just take a screenshot by hitting the shutter. That will save right into your files. And as you can see, we can go right here, open it up nearly immediately. So it is very nice and fluid. And to show you the screen recording function, all you have to do there is just change to the video. And again, you have the choice between selection or screen. And we can go right here. It then pops down into the taskbar showing the time. And we can just go in here and just scroll through real quick. We'll go ahead and open up Firefox, scroll through Reddit real quick, and then we'll hit stop. And as you can see, it's already done. Now, the default program it tries to open in does not work, so the videos program will not show it for some reason. As you can see here, it'll give you an error, but it does work in VLC just fine, so I'll show you that real quick. But I am really impressed with just how quick everything runs here. So as you can see, that screen recording was nearly instantly saved. Looks absolutely fantastic, and the only thing we had to do was just open it up in VLC, but really, really a great experience. There is a redesigned weather app and I think it looks absolutely beautiful, very minimalist. So we can uh, go between an hourly forecast and a daily forecast and uh, the iconography and everything looks absolutely great. And here it is in full screen. And uh, yeah, they did a great job with that. One of my favorite features is the desktop layouts. So as you can see, what we've been using right now is a very Windows 11-esque taskbar. So down at the bottom, everything is centered. We have the Zorin button. The menu even looks like Windows 11. However, there are more options in here. So if we go into the Zorn appearance under layout, you can see we have a more Windows 7, more Windows 10-esque uh, Zorn menu, and looks a lot like Windows 7 or a lot like Windows 10. Uh, you can also expand the uh, different applications so you get a description under each. We also have a more Chrome-like option. So if you've used Chrome OS in the past, you can see we can show all our applications, and then when you scroll, it's scrolling uh, left to right, right to left, instead of uh, going vertically. Looks really nice. We have another option here, so we can press this button here, and then you've got all your applications open. You can open up a new desktop right from here. We can go back. You have some recent applications that are open. You can show all your applications, scroll through like so. Uh, we can go back in here. We've got more options. Uh, you've got that Windows 11 style that I just showed you. You also have a kind of uh, Mac OS kind of like application menu, as you can see here. And as you can see, we've got that menu up at the top. So Zorn menus up at the top left, very Mac OS like. Um, and then we even have kind of an Ubuntu kind of like menu. So everything's on the side here. You access all your applications from down here. Um, another kind of Windows-esque style right here, more simplistic. We have another one here. So as you can see, it's kind of Windows 11, but they moved the start menu or the Zorin button over to the left. And then we have another one right here where everything is kind of expanded. This is a little bit more minimal, so kind of like with a really thin pro taskbar that you might see. And then as you can see, we've got applications and places. So you really, the thing I love about this is the fact that you kind of have something for everyone. So Zorin OS is compatible with a lot of different programs. Windows applications, you've got desktop layouts to satisfy anyone. So if you've had someone that's used Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 11, Mac OS, Chrome OS, or other versions of Linux, uh, there is just something for everyone to get you comfortable. That's something I absolutely love to see. So if you have somebody that has an older machine that's no longer supported, Zorin OS is definitely one of those operating systems I would definitely recommend.
So there you guys have it. Just a quick look at just some of the features of Zorin OS 17. And of course, you know, I had to put it on one of the oldest computers I own and it runs absolutely great. Zorin OS 17 will be available today. You can download the pro version for $48 or the core version for free. If you're coming from Zorin OS 16, that will be available in the coming weeks. And if you're upgrading from Zorin OS 17 beta, that update will be available for you today also. If you guys have any questions or comments on this, feel free to leave it down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.